Bruh. Hey, traders, welcome to episode 602 of the show. You could be doing anything on this Friday, but you're here, and I really appreciate that. Uh, just looking at Bitcoin on the Bitstamp chart. Okay. Where I adjusted the trend lines from one and two, right? Just it, it, there were three touches on the bottom, really four one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and uh, just one on the top. And if you see what happened with that adjustment, you broke out and back tested the down sloping resistance as support, which is good. It's very good, man. Um, and also, you know, you did make a lower high though, you, you did from the high point to low point hit a 38% retrace and no higher, not yet. So the only thing you've done so far is lower highs and your previous highs consecutively with lower lows. But maybe this pivot point could be the higher low that we're looking for. And uh, it's kind of weird, man. Kind of freaking me out. And of course, it uh, like doesn't mean much of anything. But it is kind of weird. Okay. It is kind of weird. Like little brother. 
stuff going on where you had an inverse head and shoulders slanted inverse head and shoulders the lower high on the neckline you eventually broke it um, and also what happened was on your right shoulder it was higher than your previous shoulder ended up actually back testing the candle low close before bouncing and guess what candle low close touched it back tested it that's what you hit and no lower so it's a higher low potential shoulder with a neckline right here around um, 10,700 so breaking that uh, would be very good could get a nice run up uh, just patterns being uh, patterns man they're just uh, why they look almost identical right do hey, you remember the channel we had where is it oh yeah sorry remember there was a channel man channel man now we never back tested or anything we did break it pull back and ran so um just an idea man these are things you do this is what you as an analyst you, you look for potential patterns that are predictable right very close to each other um and high to low if we ever made a measure move this small pattern or decently sized pattern i mean it, it would hit you right at the 786 12,300 and that would still be a lower high than your previous highs okay so that's kind of the idea we're rolling with right now it's always good when you break out of a downsloping channel of some sort then you back test it as support and now you know there's like three hours left two hours 46 minutes left on your daily and four hour candle so it would be nice to see some sort of a breakout again at like 12 10 7 10 700 uh, if you could ever break that, I think the first target's 11,120, a 50% retrace. Secondary target's 11,608. But then again, of course, after that is 12,300. Okay, the divergence has again played out. Right? Low, lower low, lowest low, lower levels, negative momentum every time. And the bounce. Can you describe your portfolio percentages in crypto? Uh, I haven't really added it up because i do have a lot of long-term position right and uh you know portfolio like, again like that's like long positions too um i mean it's mainly mostly in bitcoin just based on the sheer number of contributions i mean if you remember bitcoin casino dot io um you know stay at home kangs and many others that have uh, tipped in bitcoin have made it impossible for other altcoins to be even close to the holdings I have in Bitcoin. So it's really just Bitcoin and everyone else, everything else. That's about it, dude. Okay. Thanks for the five, Luis. Okay. I mean, I'm not a bit, am I a Bitcoin maximalist? I mean, maybe. I, I don't really even know what you would consider that. I think that there are altcoins that have their purpose and meaning out there. Um, but they're not going to be what Bitcoin is, at least for now. And none of them have any kind of uh, history or confirmations of transactions like Bitcoin has. And I believe in monetary maximalism to an extent. Just like we saw with gold for 6,000 years. When there were like, uh, you know, there were borders, but uh, I don't know, man. I just, I, I do believe in Bitcoin. I think it's one of the lowest risk high reward opportunities that exists on the planet right now. I'm talking about a opportunity that would uh, last until the year death. Okay. So, uh, that's why I've just chose not to sell any of it. You know, that's cool, man. I can do whatever it wants. It's just to me, like whatever, it's not affecting my overall portfolio, which I, I think I have probably less than seven, five to 7% of my overall portfolio in crypto even with the amount i have of bitcoin and other alts okay so like bitcoin going to zero not gonna hurt me much even though that's a lot of money that would uh that would suck i just i'm not worried about it right so that and you can sleep well you don't have to worry about oh my god what's gonna happen with crypto man you know like what's gonna happen with the trend that you're in but what do you feel kevin grubb Thanks for the two, man. Uh, I feel like we're getting to a breaking point between a downsloping support now and a downsloping resistance. You can see 
Here we are. It's funny. Prodigal Taurus brought up a good point on the 60 minutes. See how much foreshadowing this leads us to. Okay. Where you had a low on price, positive momentum. What? A higher low on price, uh, negative momentum. Okay. And then a higher low with even more no negative momentum. So he brought up a good point where it was like positive momo on a low, right? Like this. And that is, he was very right. Um, this is hidden bullish divergence right here. This is exactly what it looks like with the higher lows, with the higher levels, negative momo. All right. So maybe that would be it. You know, it's funny. It's kind of like descending, broadening wedge-ish from the neckline and the downsliding support. Pretty funny. So, okay. The sellers have tried to push this price down, but uh, they haven't done a very good job right now. And again, the area to break is 10,700. You have to break that. I don't really know how it's going to go this weekend with trading desks starting to close around the world. It's Friday, man. I mean, you know, and they've been, a lot have been closed. It's Saturday for some people, I think. Michael, thanks for the one euro. So, Michael L. <clears throat> Mr. Crypto. Where did I go? Who's this guy? It's me, man. I just don't have a beard. If you're new, if you're too, just tuning in, I shaved my beard uh, yesterday for the first time in like five months. Am I going to go out looking for sugar mamas? Oh, it's so funny you say that, dude. Dude, I was just at a... I went out to eat and uh, then got to... Well, then came back uh, closer to my house with my friend and the cougar, cougar-like attack. Like, as soon as I got there, it was like cougar attack. It's like, what? Good God. The baby face, man, I guess. Is this the same dude? Yes, it's me, dude. It's me. Miguel, if you think I look 10 years younger, thank you, man. Looks like some of y'all missed the stream yesterday. I mean, we definitely did a stream yesterday. Okay, Sergio, man. Yeah, right. I placed by Matt Demon, or the guy from the show Dexter. Dude, I've been called that Dexter guy, not because he's a crazy murderer, but whatever, dude. No, prodigal tar. It's okay. I think Jason didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, like I, he definitely didn't mean to do that. Jason Coleman, I know him IRL prodigal he's like mold like partner in crime and sales and stuff so i guess he's like uh butt dialing the hides so jason if you're in here man what's up dude the beard makes me look fat and older dang captain happy all right so uh remember what really happened this pump to the upside Helped us square up multiple times. Okay. If you didn't see, today I did a static video on Tesla. I don't know, man. Look, do you really want to see it? Do you really want to see it? <clears throat> like all the altcoins, the major altcoins? Where is it? Look at this, dude. Like, this is my, my quad screen. I can't show it because it's connected to my... 1080 Ti down there, so like OBS doesn't pick up multiple GPUs, it only picks up the main one. So uh, like, just look, look at the charts. They look like the same, dude. It's like top left is Ethereum, top right's Litecoin, bottom left is XRP, and bottom right is Bitcoin Cash. It's just like okay, they're all doing about the same thing. Now XRP is that uh, you know falling wedge. It looks in the you know top right uh, Litecoin is. Uh, some sort of descending running wedge that drop was really steep and then you just got for ethereum and bitcoin cash just down sloping channels they look very very similar okay so you know really dude it was like oh i had that up and i'm like 
static video. I'm just going to cover it in the stream, I guess. So, whatever, man. Are we cool? Are we cool, chat? Okay. So, Bantonio, thanks, man. You didn't know I had a son. I don't. Okay. I am me. Yeah, the cougar attacks, man. They're, they're nuts, dude. It's crazy. No, I hear you. I hear you, Captain Happy. I, I was, I've always known it, dude. It was just more like a me doing my thing with the beard. And I can do my own thing without a beard, too, you know? So... A full pic of my battle station, David McCoy. Go check it out on Instagram, man. This is why you should follow me on Instagram, dude. Instagram Connect. I've got one. Thanks, y'all, for the kind words about the PC. Hey, dude. So it's crazy. I, I normally used to start the stream just like having it up with like different colors and stuff. Um, but yeah, dude, it's just been there. I've got that, uh, 2080 Ti recently. I don't know. It was the recent upgrades. And, uh, yeah, dude, it's, it's solid. Uh, it'll freeze occasionally, like not very often. I think it's, uh, something to do with Windows and their software and stuff, but, um, So like, uh, look at uh, Ethereum, we're just looking at the 60 minute, oh this sucks, not showing, but, wow. Alright, where you had, uh, you just got this downtrend, right, you just got one and two on the top, and then three on the bottom, and four on the bottom, bullish engulfing candle, uh, you're making a lower high, it's almost, it's a very similar looking thing, right, like some sort of potential inverse head and shoulders action, and even if it's not, it, uh, oops, sorry. Ethereum in, the, in this short term, midterm started. Uh, the downtrend started June 27th. All right, so like 20 days now, it's been uh, lower highs, lower lows. And this thing's been in a great uptrend, and we know where it bounced. We know exactly where it bounced. Some log scale, we've got that chart where it bounced right off the bottom of the upsloping channel. Very nice. But that's fine. You still need to break above whenever you get there 250 or so thanks for the follows on instagram appreciate it yeah the screen's fixed we're good hold on why two different graphics cards because you can't um it's very inefficient to splice you can even though i don't think um splice use a splicer for like one hdmi or display port to get two uh, it's not good for stability. I use the 1080 Ti as a mule, a literal mule, just to encode the graphics on my 55 inch that I just showed y'all. Okay, and soon probably more, but I don't really even know, man. Like the the big screen's like four different monitors, pretty much. So anyway, uh, so is there any kind of harmonic? I don't think so, man. Right? You see any kind of harmonic? It, we would have to. Maybe rally again and sell off, make a lower low or a higher low. We can get somewhere X, A, B, C, D. But as it stands now, man, just in a downtrend. Just in a downtrend, barely holding on to support from April 2019, October of 2018, right? That area. And now we're at critical resistance points, 225, 223, right? From November 7th. That was D-Day, man. That was the, the day that will live in infamy. We're this whole market imploded for five plus weeks before the eventual recovery that uh, was the bottom. It was the bottom at the time. Okay. Litecoin, very similar situation. Trying to plot a channel didn't work, man, right? I think you just got two diverging down slipping trend lines, right? Where if, if you had a channel, it was it looked like this. I mean, just all over the place. So you just adjust now. Okay, very nice recovery from a $77 low 
and it ran on the rally all the way up to 104. That's what kind of crazy increase in value was that in such a short period of time? That's crypto, man. So from that high point to low point, we've hey, what did we do? We hit a 38% retrace just like Bitcoin. Neither Bitcoin nor Litecoin has uh, had any candle high closes above the 38% retrace, which is we what we know to be the beginning of the golden zone where you reverse your price action. But the good news is, hey, we did reverse our price action and we're getting very little selling pressure to come in to push this down further. So again, not too bad. Uh, there's still room to run to the upside. I mean, 108 is the downslope and resistance that you must break. So 108 must be broken. Um, the 50% retrace, the next fib note after the one we just recently hit, the 38%, would be 111.27. Then the golden retrace is 119.30. Okay. So it's good. It's good that we did sell off, reverse our price action, but it was very little selling pressure that came in behind it. And it looks like right now you're trying to, uh, you're at a support resistance area right now. Look, you see it? Very important. Breaking that for real and holding above it would be very good. Even though we did break it, we fell right below it, and now we're using kind of as resistance. So getting above that for real would be very good. Okay, very, very good. But just above it is going to be a resistance at 104, and that's exactly what we hit. We hit the candle high close perfectly with the 382 and pulled back. So, dude, Andreas, man. Bruh. Bruh. Dude, thank you for the 1999 super chat, dude. Very cool. Um, thank you for the largest contribution of the day. Kang's man. All right, so that's your Litecoin Connect. <clears throat> Here is your XRP Connect, one that I really like. I like the way it looks. I know it was a fail and stuff, but man, it hit the ice line, dude, right? Over and over and over again. Once it hit it this time, it bounced once more. Went from 28 to 31.773. And uh, if you could ever break the, your uh, geometrical trend line, 32.7 cents, uh, your targets for a trade would be uh, 39.8. Oh, it's really 39.669 and 42.338 cents. These are profit taking levels on a wedge trade if it did break out. Okay, it is making a higher high than the previous high, minor high. And that's all we have right now. Okay. So the divergence, low, uh, low, lower, low, lowest low, lower levels of negative momentum into on your last one, positive momo. And you had triple RSI bullish divergence. Beautiful. And it manifested into higher prices. But uh, we haven't gone that much higher and we have not broken out of any kind of pattern. Okay. That's XRP. Catch a fire. Uh, do you see targets? New targets all the time, man. Jeez. Lane Kiffin does TA. Oh, yeah. Is that true, man? He's an owl now, dude. Catch a fire, man. Why are you in here if you're just going to complain and cry, dude? Dude, you know I have a Patreon, right? I don't even know why I'm talking to you. People so like, dude, you realize I've been doing this 17 months, right? We call bottoms and tops all the time. On Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin, dude. Yeah, silver did kill it uh, this week, man. It did, and then gold. I don't know. Uh, Larley was looking at one exchange. I tried making sense of it, but gold had a false breakout for me. Even using the candle close, candle high closes, it's just not still like below, right? It was like false breakout <clears throat> for, for him. Somehow it's back testing, but it might be his anchor point was like one and two here. But again, I don't know, just going from the entirety of the structure, it seemed like we just, I couldn't make it work where we, it stayed outside of that trend line. So. I should have trades up. 
but what I mean I have a patreon dude so so I'm confused about the area 51 thing man like so there was like this I want to know about it uh, it all happened when I was traveling Can someone like link an article to what exactly happened? Because you can't like a type. What do you type in Area 51 invasion or something? What do you do? Like, how do you even find the info on this? Okay. So, uh, yeah, silver killed it. Killed it. Uh, it's finally making a higher high than its previous high for the first time in a long time. So, uh, in Bitcoin Cash, we have a downtrend. Hello? If it was to ever break out, I mean, the thing is, by the time it gets to the 339, which is the top of the downsloping channel, kind of double bottoming a little bit, right? But can't really break the resistance. Uh, you'd be looking for anywhere between your targets between 354 and 415 before you got some sort of price action reversal to the downside okay but i realize people are just it's impossible to make people happy dude like oh my god man dude i didn't ban anybody why bitcoin trading man but uh hey man we have mods in here and I delegate to mods. And so if you keep trying to derail the stream with questions that uh, are clearly not constructive, they're gonna ban you. I'm not gonna ban you, okay? They, they make their own decisions too. It's nothing about me. I'm sitting here streaming, okay? Sub Julian Wolf. So basement dwellers are going to storm the 10 mile area 51 perimeter over under making it 800 yards before passing out. Dylan, yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't know. So we're talking about aliens now. <clears throat> I mean, like, are they gonna try to like, what are they gonna do when they get there? Don't, it doesn't have extreme amounts of security. How would you even get inside area 51 if you got to the actual base, like the door? What are you gonna do, man? It's gonna be like indoor, man. Right, Star Wars? Where they get there and then like another blast shield just closes. That's what I would think. Or something. So Cadillac. That's exactly what the government would say about aliens. What's up, Errol? Uh, Errol, you've got you've got a breakout. We broke out on Bitcoin, but uh, only on like the geometrical side, like the downsloping resistance. You're back testing it now, support, and uh, you're trying to rally. You're trying to rally after the small little correction sell off you had. Never got there. There's a square up. I feel like around 9,800 that we never got to. They will tunnel in. They will tunnel in to Area 51. So this is another, let's see, low, lower, low, slightly lower, lower, low. Wow. More divergence. There's even more, right? Low, slightly lower, low, much higher levels relative strength. So you had that triple RSI divergence and the same type of stuff. All these assets had, before the bounce, had their divergence. Okay. People are gonna rush at masses. So many people will not be able to stop everyone. Dude, if people died. That would be so crazy, man. Would we even know about it? Would they cover it up? They probably there's probably like a blackout area. I, I know traveling 
over that area, it's like a blackout. There's no internet or anything, right? So how would anyone get any media out to be able to express what's actually happening if they were all there, right? Jigarums, maybe, dude. I don't know. I mean, kind of, but, uh, geez. Area 51 memes. Okay. Dude, things getting hot up in the, in the Gulf, man, with Iran. The biggest joke of the galaxy. So when's it supposed to be? Uh, what? It, the plan is simple. On September 20th at 3 a.m., the group will arrive. They say we will all meet up <clears throat> at Area 51 Alien Center tourist attraction and coordinate our entry. The event explains. If we Naruto run, I don't know what that is. We can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. Bruh. Wow, chat just freaked out. Since then, a conversation of tens of thousands of comments has developed with more intricate maps and planning. The most popular comment with a plan of attack, however, has an important disclaimer. P.S. Hello, U.S. government. This is a joke, and I do not actually intend to go ahead with this plan, the commenter wrote. I just thought it would be funny and get me some thumbsy uppies on the internet. It's gotten 112,000 likes, so that was a success. Okay, man. Wow. There you have it. Dude, I can't do this music again. The same song. It's so bad. So, uh, so this is the unadjusted trend line I had. So all you do is just adjust, right? Where there are the, all these touch points on the bottom. And you can see, let me uh, make it perfect. I have to, so it's gonna be like one, two, three, four on the bottom and then just one on the top just like that perfect so just a back test simple back test and that's what we're just talking about the potential inverse head and shoulders just like the one we saw over here that played out never had the measure move but uh, hit a 786 the bearish cipher it's perfect for the sell-off Christian, that would be insane. Yeah, Bob Lazar and uh, Joe Rogan started the, all this madness, man, with that interview, okay? That's right, AR. Thanks, man. Glad you noticed. Just uh, readjusting something real quick. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on with it. All right, so what do I think here, man? Netflix Connect. Bruh. Major gap down. Insane amount of negative momentum. The largest spike. Oh, well, let's go to daily. Largest spike of negative momentum we've seen on Netflix since July 2018. Okay. Cyber targets should never play down. It's so weird though. It got up to 100% retrace and never got any higher, right? Never, just too much in the selling and then just the dump, man. 
Huge red candle. What happened today? Oh my god, closing your session lows. Terrible, man. Extremely bad. So we didn't talk about measured move. Uh, just some sort of range. I'm talking like uh, 303. So not much more, not much further to go. Uh, we haven't been oversold on Netflix since August 2018, and this is the lowest level of RSI we've seen since, good God, October of 2014. Very, very huge development on Netflix. Uh, their you know, growth has plummeted, man. Plummeted. Got destroyed. So, uh, yeah, man. Not looking good for you. Okay, we can also do fib extensions from your previous low to high. And you can see the 1414 is 312 and the 1618 is at 301, 38. Very close to the measure move of the pretty much that, you know, the range we were in. Whatever. Look at these springs, dudes. Nice springs to run up one more time before being destroyed. So something that needs to be discussed. Uh, Wally brought it up earlier. Not good, man. Not good at all. I mean, it's not something you want to see. What was painted, chat? What was painted on the weekly for the S&P 500? With divergence. MACD. Bearish divergence, class A. What, chat, what is that? Say it. Let me know what that is. All right, R. Shirley, let me, uh, that only take like 10 minutes, right? Cabo. So I was reading chat, just waiting on answers from y'all. I asked you a question, right? Anyway, a lot of alien talk. That's right, stay at home, dad. That's right. It's something else though, too. Very, very close to being something else. What else is it? Bonus points if you can also tell me what it looks like. Because, yes, bearish engulfing is correct. Yeah, Netflix reported first quarter of negative subscriber growth since 2011. Yeah, get down connect. Yeah, bearish engulfing is correct, but there's also another term. It's something else, too. You can get it, man. Thanks, Brian. Hey, Jim Plunkett, man. What's up, dude? I'm waiting on an answer. I, I guess it's not going to get it. No, it's like another Japanese candlestick pattern. That is also a bearish and golden candle, but also something else. It's a, it's a bearish Mara Bazoo. I failed. Bruh. Bearish Mara Bazoo. Okay. Like no wicks. Just one red bar. Seller domination all week, man. Maru Bazoo. How do you spell that? There you go, dude. Amara Bazoo. There it is. Okay. Examples. I mean, I have them. They're literally the example of... This is an example of a Marbazoo. So, it's just where there's no wicks. And in Japanese, it, says, it means something like a scalped head or something like that. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, like, right. Bearish Marbazoo. Like, no wicks. 
complete domination. Okay, whatever, a little education, who cares. Anyway. Yeah, not looking good. Very, very weak, right? Lower high than your previous high. Yeah, not not looking too good, man. Okay, look look at this. Every time you get higher, all right, so not just not only did you have weekly bearish divergence. Look at this on the on the four hour, man. It's just like every time you make a higher high, like lower levels positive momentum, and then you made a lower high with negative momentum, and then RSI. Uh, you just kept uh, topping out. It was like lower levels every time. I mean, that's this clear divergence, bearish divergence. So yeah, this is just the channel we're in. So there's plenty of downside potential, right? <laughs> one and two on the top, one on the bottom. You know, you hit the heart line, 25. Uh, you kept hitting the 75, 75, 75. And just so um, be mindful of the weekly. Like we just looked, I mean, Tesla did the static video today. And we looked at that bullish engulfing candle on the weekly. And it manifested into Tesla being up 46% since then. So we now have like the major indices bearish engulfing on the weekly. It's not good. Man. It's not a good thing. XRP is not a stock. Jacqueline. So Tillin Man with Bitcoin, I think it's uh, I mean the same consensus on the weekly time scale where we guess what? Guess who led the way? Who led the charge on this the weekly bearish engulfings? It was Bitcoin. Bitcoin bearishly engulfed, tweezer topped, and now the stock market's doing it too. Okay. flies in here because that painter's been I can't see anything it's great man I can't kill this fly while I'm streaming dude this is so bad <clears throat> okay QSP, complete trash, man. Like, who cares about QSP? Go take your money to Vegas, man. How you been, Mitch? Where do you see BTC head this weekend and LTC slash used? I've been well, Rod Santos. Thanks, man. Got to, you know, partake in the restorative nature of travel. More travel coming. Just booked a flight. For August and um, where do I see Bitcoin head this weekend it does seem very possible that uh, if we break 10,700 we could go much higher 11,136 first target really 10,700 first target second target 11,136 third target would be 11,618 okay Bruh. Say something nice about Litecoin. <laughs> Say something nice about LTC. Uh, something nice about it? Hey, it's having a happening. Happening in less than a month, man. So, uh, that's good, right? Uh, I'll say something nice about Litecoin. It went from $22 to $145 in a five to six month period. Extremely amazing performance from Litecoin for the year of 2019. 
Gotta love it, man. So good. But just recently, just you know, a couple of days ago, we hit $78, $77. Wow. Dang, look at this. There's some guy who was like shilling his scrub channel and then insults me. Wow, dude. That's not how it works. Good luck, dude. Good luck with your channel, dude. It's probably the same guy that was banned earlier by mods and blaming me for it. So... So again, Bitcoin's at 10,558 right now. Um, Litecoin, you say though, AR. Right, 98 bucks. Remember what you talked about already. Really, really needs to break, um, you know, kind of where it is right now. It's breaking a resistance support area. Oh, let's go back, yep, here we go. Um, I mean, there's just multiple areas that are support resistance that you got to break. Uh, but again, you're, you're not out of the woods. You're not going to get a geometrical breakout on like one. It's a 106 to 104. All right. Well, it's moving target. So we know uh, common retrace levels from the heights to the low point is between 103 and 119.30. Okay. Nice Rod Santos. Good stuff, man. Billionaires, as ministry, thanks for teaching me TA. Helps a lot. Allowed me to see outside the box. Called that double inverse head and shoulders yesterday on Bitcoin. Thanks for the education. Thanks, Billionaire Man. Good eye. And um, keep watching, man. Let's keep investing in ourselves and learning every day. Conservative price of BTC in July 2020. Jenny, I got no idea. I don't know. I got no idea, man. Um, just based on the historical trend of Bitcoin, it, sh it should be higher. But... Uh, we know history doesn't always tell, doesn't tell us the future. Okay. Uh, historical price action does not is not indicative of future performance, right? So I don't know, man. I just don't do those. I like uh, technical analysis to give me like you know a reason to believe something, so I can make an argument towards it. So if I'm doing a 2020. A, a July of 2020, a one year out outlook. There are too many things that can happen. What if we go to war with Iran? What what if all these things happen, man, that just haven't happened yet, dude? It can derail an entire rally, right? The same, man. Mm, 30, no. Why is the beard off? Because I felt like shaving it. It's not fun, dude. Like, it got so long. I was traveling. You can't take really, you don't take scissors with you. So like grooming the beard is so much work. You think, you think shaving every day is tough? Go, go ahead and get a, a real big beard and try to groom it. And it just keeps getting like longer and longer. And you just keep trying to trim back the overgrowth. Just is annoying, man. There's like more work involved with trimming a beard and keeping it kempt than there is shaving dudes. Seriously. support on Bitcoin uh, no real change the major ones right I mean like 98 to 9600 big one um, you know 9,000 those are the sports I guess 10,200 is a sport too uh, that we did kind of holds 10,100 is as low as we got on this rally so sports haven't changed okay but really digging uh, XRP, even though I know it barely ever moves unless it moves down. Oh, it moved up one time this year. Wow. The whole year of 2019, it moved up, had one huge impulse. That's just crazy, dude. So either way, you don't get emotional about it. You don't say, hey, because of what it's done in the past, I I'll just write it off. No, you don't do that. So uh, again, if we could ever break out of this, our targets, 39.669 cents and 42.338 cents.
Johnny. Um, it'll never stop. It's okay though, All right? We just keep rolling. Yo, check me out on Instagram if you haven't, dude. Okay, check me out. If you have an Instagram, I'm just trying to get my numbers up because I'm like abandoning Snapchat pretty much and switching over fully to Instagram. All right. What's up, DRFPV? I'm glad you made it, man. It's okay. There'll always be more streams, right? Rookie mistake is grooming the beard, Phil. Pfft, might. I don't know about that, dude. Yeah, Steve, it is. Yeah. So here's the uh, the Bitcoin <clears throat> log scale chart, right? Oh my God, dude! I did take a break, man. Um, so the uptrend we were in, you're out of it, and now you're kind of back testing it, trying to get back above it, right? Huh? Thanks. Tone base, man, for the three. Okay, dude. Wow. Memes. All the memes, dude. So, though you are out of the upsloping channel we've been in since the beginning, since the breakout, February 8th, uh, when you fell out, you, uh, you held support. Held support back from March of 2018. Uh, never really got down to that... 8500 area that's really very that's very close to the pcz of the potential garley bullish garley okay so we've rallied but haven't really gone anywhere not making higher highs i mean a higher high on the daily would be you'd have to break 13k roughly to get a higher high and that uh, we know is would take a lot of work and so on the daily man the look at this like you know you got uh bearish convergence your negative memo is beginning to wane which is good so who knows how long this rally could last uh and we could eventually get lower highs at 11 8 or something 11 1 before selling off one more time and by that time maybe just maybe we could get ourselves bullish divergence on the daily at least on the macd Uh, GBTC. Look at this one, man. So you're just trying. All right, so though it fell out of the channel here, it's also held support at like 1230, 1234. All right, nice bounce. The inverted hammer. But again, it's just now it hit the trend line, right? The very well established upsloping trend line. It was once a support, it's now a resistance. And we are not above it at all. Okay. There was definite convergence, bearish convergence here, right? Very clear, very gross. On the lower high double top. Uh, speaking of logos, we still don't have one for the farm. Have a name, but just not very artistic. It's gonna have a contest. I don't care, man. Yeah, you can do a contest. Just get with a uh, Bradford or Julia or someone. Just uh, y'all can figure out all the, you know, intricacies of that if you want to do it. Yeah, I don't care, man. 
I don't know if it, you know, assuming they're cool with it, because like if it makes them have to do more work that would, you know, cause them stress, I, I would defer to what they want to do. Okay. I, I am indifferent. It's cool with me if you want to do that. Just talk to them. So coin grinder. GRB investment solution just says China randomly. Okay. Give me a sec. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Oh my god. Hilarious. trade what's appropriate. I don't trade a lot, right? I trade when I see an opportunity that presents itself, right? So there is opportunity on this market currently. There definitely is. We're looking at opportunity right now on XRP. I mean, I hope that's good enough. Why? Because it's a falling wedge pattern that uh, showed all kinds of bullish divergence and is now making a higher low and slightly higher high on you know, the minor highs. Okay, so if we can break the downside resistance, my target targets 39.669 and 42.338 cents. That's why I like it. All right, Brian, we did a lot, vast amount of Bitcoin technical analysis at the end of the show. You can just rewind video on demand, man. So, Brooklynos. <sighs> okay, so you see, you see what's happened? You've broken out and you're trying, you're getting back to the 382, the area that you struggled at, I mean, four or five, Four hour candles rejected it before selling off only to back test the down slipping resistance as support. And now you're rallying again, which is good. Very good. If you're enjoying the live stream, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Just can't, uh, I don't know, just like weird. Thanks for the 900 people tuned in right now. Really appreciate it. What's up, Victor, man? Uh, full metal music. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's so touchy, dude. A better investment? I, I did. I, I don't know. I, I think like if you looked at XRP, if it became like a security and was probably trade, it was like on the stock market, and I knew that what I was putting my money into was Garlinghouse and Schwartz and all that. Okay, yeah, I'd feel more comfortable, but. We don't even know, man, like if putting money into XRP, the token, is actually you really investing in, in, in Ripple. So um, that's what weirds me out about it. But I think it's because of all the partnerships they have about uh, what they're accomplishing, which is pretty cool, man. I mean, they are a global bank solution where they are really helping out banks transfer their money, tens of millions of dollars across the seas, right? Uh, in a very like a record time so uh that's probably why because uh, it's like a business-esque model where they actually have a working product they have stupid amounts of partnerships there's just news coming out on it every day i think that's why people could think that maybe it's a better investment than bitcoin where bitcoin is just a thing it's just a commodity all right it's it's treated it's being perceived as gold liquid gold or not liquid gold that's Velveeta cheese virtual gold memes incoming holy crap not frederick i live in a three thousand square foot house 
this mine that I own. What about you, Frederick? Where do you live? Oh, yeah. Get Rex Grove. Wait, you can hear your hair growing, defunct? Grandma's boy? I know that quote, dude. I know it too well. Man. Okay. So, uh, yeah, not too much going on, but definitely some opportunity for swing trades in the midst. We know them. Okay. They've been discussed and... Yeah, man. Oops. Sorry, wrong button. So, big one is uh, nearly 10,600. we got uh, less than two hours left in the daily candle. You know, we're just relaxing and listening to music. We've been analyzing things, okay? Which one was it? There you go, man. Excellent. Let's go to the daily. Oh, would you look at that? Look at the rally you're having off a 95% retrace or something. Okay. Uh, the bullish divergence on both oscillators, very good. You were near the bottom of the channel. It's very good looking on XLM. You're just getting to crazy levels, man. So tell heel. That's right, full metal music. You got it, dude. <laughs> Maria, I don't know if it is or not. I don't know why I even said that. Thanks. That's the marketing team, dude. They do. Stay at home dad is a Kang, man. So weird though. It's just so dude, like so many hateful people out there, dude. With such little purpose in their lives. And you gotta feel bad for them, but you can't save them all, as Prague Guitar says, right? Hey Claudia, man. Bruh. I still prefer super chatting with etc. You are really cool. Glad to be a part of this number. I hope you keep this going for years and years. Also, Kappa One Moon Kappa. What was that? Last part? Claudia, man, thanks so much for the uh, 586. The one Ethereum Classic. Remember when you were tipping me $8 and it was one Ethereum Classic? Now it's $5.86. Get wrecked. Thanks, man. Well, it's just sitting there, man. It's just all sitting there and it'll keep going until zero or a billion, right? Thanks, man. Um, you hope I keep doing this for years? Um, well, two year mark will be in February of next year. So. Yeah, man, I'd, I'd love to because of this community. Uh, I just kept it going through the worst times and uh, it's the best times, too. And now we're getting off of those best of times with price action, Bitcoin, and volatility and euphoria. Now we're back to the, the lull times, which is completely fine. Um, you know, clearly it's with concurrent viewership and just um, everything, right? Just it tapers off, which is to be expected. And the, the hate, some of the hate picks back up. It's like crazy, man. Like lots and lots of people just are mad and hateful and they just love expressing their hate via live chat. It's just like, dude, go go outside, go do something, man. We're in here and getting better, investing in ourselves, having a good time. And you're here like talking crap, trying to shill your own trashy channel, dude. Like get out of here. Dylan, I don't know, man. Every year, I guess, uh, Saints, but I'll probably be wrong. I don't know, dude. Erwin with an E, not an I. Crypto Hodler. It's like Erwin.coffee. I'm drinking some. Okay. So, yeah, man. XLM, uh, I mean, it's just gone higher. It has gone higher. I believe ADA was similar. I can't remember what, which one was it. Was, oh, yes, yes, yes. I wonder if this latest drop is the left shoulder and the head is to 8,500 for the CMEs. What do you think? Is that a joint? What's up, Ed, man? Oh, thank you, man, for the... Is that a joint? He did the conversion rate. Hey, ADA is breaking out, chat. Hype in the chat. It's happening right now, man. Right now. Targets. They never get targets, man. 
What's my channel, dude? I have two people watching my stream. First target, 7.8 cents. Second target, 8.49 cents. Okay. All the divergence, yes. On the MACD, very cool, dude. He's a head and shoulders. There's no left shoulder, man. I'm sorry. What do you think this latest drop is the left shoulder and the head and shoulders at 8,500? Thank you for your channel, Mitch. You're very helpful. Quite right. Thanks for the 999 uh, Super Chat. Uh, really, really appreciate that, dude. And, uh, yeah, dude, because people like you I keep coming back. Can keep coming back every day trying to educate, teach, uh, just whatever. You know, be there to help guides in these crazy times and less crazy times right so look at this man i mean it's not just it's not just uh the wedge you've got the critical supports looking left like crazy you so real no sugar coating in here we appreciate it thanks man j fretless oh god thanks for the 589 uh-oh type in the chat for the 589s dude thank you man uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, what's the point in, like, f being fake, man? Like, I've never claimed to be anything I'm not, man, okay? I'm just a guy that, uh, fell in love with charts, candles, trading in my early 20s, and I've just, uh, it's, it consumed and engulfed my life. And, uh, now I'm just streaming, and all the things that I learned, I'm trying to just impart on you and educate and all the experiences I had in my 20s, um, you know, the trials and tribulations, the adversity, all that, we all have it, but it's how we respond to that adversity that makes us, you know, who we are, right? So are you a winner? Are you a real one, man? If you're a real one, you will bounce back. It's a rap song. Pretty good uh, meaning in that. So are you a real one? If you're going through crap in life, you gotta bounce back, man. There's no option here, okay? Gosh dang, this song sucks too. Oh. Okay, do you see what I'm talking about though? It's like critical supports, divergence. There's two down sloping converging trend lines. And you're trying, man. You're really trying here to get out. Uh, but we know where you are, very critical. Like this resistance point, that's not going to be easy to break. So if you can though, could be a very nice move up at least a 6.3 uh, 6.396 cents okay oh man someone's butter oh i think it's the the streamer guy who came in shilling his channel he's now just creating accounts and trying to attack people the community and me it's uh funny dude are you mad bro you wish you you could have this dude you wish you had this community man You'll never have it. Ever. Yeah, Conrad. Took a lot of profit, though. Last autumn. Can you contain yourself? You cannot. Jay Watt, calm down, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Dennis Perry still still wants the hat, dude. There's no way, man. I can't, dude. It's my fave hat. For now. So crypto mints, thank you. Uh the with the uh CME, right? The futures chart. It's now closed. Bruh. If you zoom out on BTC, does it look like a cup and handle is formed? Thanks again for all you do. Dang, uh, Maria, thanks for the 888 contribution. We haven't seen one of those in a long time. It's actually a specialized emoji ball. So you see the spinning eight, Maria? Appreciate it. Um, cut with handle, we'll, we'll look at it, but uh, I wouldn't consider this cut with handle. No, nah, no way. It just uh, structure, it's like weird. Like, what are you handling? I think it's just more so you would just look at this like if you can hold these supports, you have a higher chance of right. Look, you're holding, you're trying to anyway, right? You got scary, but then bounce back. Like you can hold this long enough, you should rally again. 
Dilly dilly, thanks, Mitch. Learn something new every day. Cheers. Bruh. Matt Shaver, man. Ms. Shaver, thanks to the 555 Morpheus coin in the jar. Very cool. Thank you, man. Yeah. We got to keep learning, dude. Every day, dude. Patrons, if you hadn't checked it out, the video I uh, did education on the uh, shortening of the thrust from Wyckoff yesterday. It's a newly published clip on the Patreon feed. Check it out if you haven't. Education. So I wouldn't consider Bitcoin events any sort of cup with handle. To me, it just looks like a lower high double top. The sell off, you're rallying, you're out of a channel that you were in. You're, and, um, you could rally again to back test all the way up to 11,500 or so. Okay. And uh, you again, never hit X, A, B, C, D. I mean, this harmonic is everywhere, potential harmonics on every chart for Bitcoin. Okay. If you can't hold 9,800, 9,600, uh, the next supports uh, 8,500, which, you know, is wouldn't be a stop out 8800 8700 is the pcz from the low you know from x to a 786 so that's still a potential there's still potential for that to, to happen all right good to see a response on a support and a balance but not much follow through so far on futures we won't see any movement again till monday or sunday night i guess it'll be sunday night but also monday at the same time that makes sense. Craig M, there's still that music going on, dude, right? If you're enjoying the live stream, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Let's thwart the haters chat. Thwart it. Like spike, dude. Let's get 300 likes and be kings. No one's singing, you call them tracks. Okay, this is a track. Track Connect. Very cool. Maurice is enjoying a sunny Saturday morning walk. Always learning. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning from the world, dude. Yeah, Maria, sure. Thank you for the contribution again. And thank you for watching and the support. Okay. Jesse, thank you for the like, man. And thanks for all the follows on Instagram. Again, trying to uh, up my rookie numbers, scrub numbers on Instagram. Very cool. Thanks, Mr. Hodler. Okay. Super Ninja, what's up, man? I think you said. I shaw, I shod, not shaved on your comments instead of video. Oh my god, man. Here yeah, there you go. Prodigal. I see it now. King of the Moon, what's up, dude? Uh, areas of value? Yeah, yeah. I do think that there are areas of value where we are. I mean, just because you didn't hit a 786 doesn't mean that Bitcoin can't bounce, right? Um, there are areas of value on ADA. Look at it, man. Look where we are on ADA. I mean, there's value. So. Oh, yeah, system level. Sure, dude. Sure, man. Anyway, those people are holier than thou, right? We are the enemy to CNBC, okay, and Mark Cuban. Well, I don't think he cares, but uh, yeah, dude. ADA, this is a very, very critical area from February, January, December, December 2018. All right, so you bouncing here, uh, well, this will be an exceptional trade setup, right? Where there is a lot of upside potential on ADA. Of course, you could like sell off and come back down for a double bottom, but uh, divergence playing out right now and you're trying to break out even though you are it's not confirmed for another hour and 38 minutes okay on a candle high confirmation close we'll get in so like xlm there were areas of value ada there were areas of value xrp there are areas of value bitcoin somewhat areas of value 
get, get what I'm saying, right? Like, oh, hey, we're 13K, right? 14K, no, no value. Now there might, there's value in some of these areas. Oh, yeah, dude, ADA, way up here. Is there value? More value down here, obviously, right? Save my energy for this evening. I don't know what I'll be doing this evening, man. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Jimmy Ragsdale's here, dude. Turd Ferguson, <laughs> the name man. Chris. Okay, maybe in the four hour, <clears throat> there was something. No, nah, not really. I kind of feel like uh, there's this S coin that someone was asking about in chat. I don't even know why I'm looking at it, but uh, I don't know, Ren. It had an uptrend. I think it's still holding on to support some sort, right? All right, you see it right there. You don't want to fall below that. That's cool. But uh, you got a downside resistance. Potential lower low double bottom. Okay. So, you know, there's multiple things you have to do. Not only do you have to break the geometrical uh, this trend line, 791 sats, you then have to break above 987 sats to get a confirmed double bottom. And if that ever happens, which I'm not saying it ever will, I don't know, it's Ren to BTC. Who knows, dude? It's trash can. Who knows, man? God. All right, a little double bottom. If it ever broke out of all that, then a measure move could be all the way up at uh, 1,349 sats, right, on Ren Connect. Potential double lower low double bottom, which inherently have better performance than your standard or higher low double bottoms. Okay, there you go. We'll see how it goes, right? <clears throat> I think it's too high of a retrace here. X A B C D for anything, All right? That's like a seventy eight percent retrace, I believe. So too high. Okay. Okay, so one day to look. Okay, I guess it won't. Great. Just give me a sec. I got this, man. Perfect. <clears throat> What's up, uh, Appalicious? How you doing, man? Alert set up. I'm 88. It goes in the IR. We're going to hear about it. Okay. But very good, man. Very good. Opportunity. Bitcoin's in its downtrend. With the potential inverse head and shoulders going on, the higher low shoulder. With a neckline right here. I think we'll exchange that. But still. 
had it. Oh yeah, yeah. Very interesting, right? What we got going on? Oh, big brother, little brother. How interesting would it be to see history repeat itself in a very short uh, amount of time? Okay. I've been live for one hour and 24 minutes. If you're enjoying the live stream, hit the like button, that bell, that sub. Thanks for being here. What's up, Dustin Fridley? What's up, Metal Core Views? Very cool. Thanks for the nearly 1,000 people here. Still, just looking at Bitcoin, uh, a couple ideas, right? With the breakout the down sloping resistance breakout then the back test and then you've just got you've created some the different collars right one collar two collars giving you the neckline of the potential inverse head and shoulders it's not a confirmed breakout until you break above 10,700 or so all right coin grinder sure man sure It's just one of those days, right? One of those days where you've got an hour and a half left until your daily close. It's Friday. The weekend's coming. Brace yourself. Hopefully you all have some plans. Yeah, that's it. Serge, I don't think it's a good, good one at all for that because they don't have stop losses from what I've been told. So I, I wouldn't... I would say anything, any exchange without a stop loss is something one should stay away from. That's it, man. It's that simple, really. See the update on the... So Joe, you're like Iran had seized two different... <clears throat> what was it? like two ships being seized by the Iranian government or whatever, like two uh, United Kingdom ships. It's pretty uh, insane. Things are escalating with the S&P 500 bearishly engulfing on the weekly. Same with Bitcoin last week. Yeah, Serge, that's not what you want. Not the stuff you're looking for. Okay. So I get to sit here for a little bit longer, but I don't think I'm going to make, you know, sitting here for an hour and a half, I don't think it's going to happen, Chad. Just not much going on, right, with the price action, even though we do know there is opportunity across the markets. Okay. Thanks, Ash. Appreciate the kind words. So you're being left with this chat, leaving with a potential inverse head and shoulders, little brother from big brother divergence manifested into a geometrical breakout. You back tested it as support, created a neckline of that potential inverse head and shoulders and the break of the neckline is 10,700. If you can break that, you can see much higher prices, 11K, 11,100, uh, 11, 11,100. 50% retrace from your previous high to low is a target, and another target is 11,608. If you could ever break 11,608, 12,300 is the measured move of the potential pattern, which we know the previous pattern did not even come close. It was probably $1,000 off its measured move. So there you have it, chat. There you have it. So thanks so much for the... Uh, the likes, the love, the support, the contributions, everything. Please hit that like button, that bell, that sub on the way out. 
I might be back tonight, but you know, trying to get balance back in my life. I just don't know. It's Friday night and the market's kind of meh, right? So I'll see y'all. See y'all again soon. So until then, respect the TA.
Bear pig could be in this area. My name is JP. I'm a robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Adios, turd nuggets. <laughs>